Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Home Tastic by Rizwana. So this is another room which I already told me in my previous video that I'll be decorating for Ramzan and also making a dedicated prayer corner uh, in this room. So this is a corner where I'll be decorating and making a namaz corner but the space is very less right. So we need to move the bed to uh, another position actually as per the suggestion of my subscribers i had kept the bed in this position so that it will open up more space and yes it really opened up more space in the room but the corner space is very less to make any prayer corner or to make any decorations so that's why we are moving it uh, back to its original uh, previous position So this is where we'll be keeping the bed and now we have more space on our right side so that we can make any kind of decorations and first I'll start with making the bed and other things in the room are already clean like the windows curtains everything I've already changed now I'll start with making the bed first I'm cleaning and this is a beautiful multicolor bed sheet from pepperfry.com so I'll be laying this one on this bed this bed sheet is of pure cotton and of very good quality. This is actually a king size uh, bed sheet. Done with the bed sheet as the pillow covers are very big. I have used two two pillows in each cover and it's looking very nice now. Moving on to this stand, I had used this one in my balcony makeover if you remember. Now I want this in my room for my namaz corner. So I want a white color stand in that namaz corner so that's why I am using white color spray paint on this. Let's put this to dry and in the meantime we can move on with our other decorations. First I thought that I'll decorate this wall but the wall itself was not looking good. So that's why I am going to hang this white color net curtains. In order to decorate any kind of wall, we have to first make a backdrop. So that's why I have chosen this white net curtain. On one side, there was one nail and on the other side, I'll be using a double sided tape. Before hanging the curtain, I want to hang some string lights over this wall so that the lights are visible through the curtain. You can either hang the lights over the curtain or behind the curtain but for me behind the curtain looked good and also safe for kids as well. And this is how it looks. Now we have to cover the curtain ring so for that I'll be using these artificial leaves. So we have to cover the curtain rings like this. It's looking better now. Moving on to some quick DIYs. Here first DIY is a garland of lanterns. And this is the easiest lantern design that we have chosen from Pinterest. And we'll be making a cutout on some glitter sheets like this. I got these metallic sheets from Himalaya Book World. And we made these kind of lantern cutouts with those sheets. On top of the lantern, we have to attach these kind of shapes. Actually, you need three for each lantern. One bigger size and two of smaller sizes. I couldn't shoot everything, but this is how you need to attach these arch shapes on these lanterns. This is very easy. You can just do it by seeing. Moving on to our next DIY, take any cardboard and make 3 to 4 pieces like this and cut it in arrow shape like this. I personally like this wall decor because I'll be writing my favorite and inspirational Quran verses on this. And to cover this cardboard, I'm attaching some chart paper on this one. If you don't want to attach papers and all, you can simply paint this one as well. So I'm done with the first one and I have made two in pink and two in yellow. I went with pastel colors this time as I'll be writing some verses on this one. 
and on this one i am writing some of my favorite and inspirational verses from quran so whenever i am feeling low or sad if i look at these verses this will instantly change the way i think and just to enhance its look i am making some simple leaf painting on this you can further decorate this using any kind of uh, paper flowers or these kind of simple paintings as well and just for a change i am just applying some glue on the border and sprinkling some glitter so i made two with the paintings and two with this glitter and moving on to our next diy here i've taken a cardboard again and i'm attaching some chart paper on both the sides actually i want something as a decorative in my room and also something relevant to the ramzan so that's why i thought of making a ramzan calendar and yes this is my board ready now i'll be writing all the 1 to 30 numbers on this one using some gold 3d outliner and again i'm sprinkling glitter on this to make it little more attractive and again i'll make a glitter border on both the sides of this calendar as i'll be using this as a wall hanging i'll be attaching this tassel lace at the bottom of this calendar and that's it my simple ramzan calendar is ready now moving on to another quick diy i have this transparent writing pad i'll be making a ramzan countdown board with this one all these diys are very simple you can ask your kids also to do this kind of diys i have applied some glue in the moon shape on the back side of this pad and i have sprinkled glitter on this and again on the back side i'll be spray painting with gold color Now let's turn this over and see how it is looking. So this is how it is looking, not bad I guess. On this I'll be writing Ramadan day as this is going to be a Ramadan day countdown. You know with this kind of DIYs even kids will get excited to write down what day of Ramzan it is, how many days are left. These all are visual reminders to everyone. Now to cover that clip of this pad I have some magnetic flowers that I purchased from Himalaya Book World and using a marker you can just write which day of Ramzan it is and then wipe it off And there's one last fun DIY which I made with foam sheet so I got some moon and star cutouts out of that foam sheet and I'm attaching those in a sequence on a thread We are done with all our DIYs. Now moving on to the decorations part. It's time to put all our DIYs and decoratives together and see how it's gonna look. This Ramadan Karim banner is from last year makeover. Now I am using it again in this decoration, and on top of it, I am hanging some stars also. Some people might comment that why do we even need to decorate for Ramzan? But when some guests are coming, won't you decorate your house or won't you keep it organized and look? very neat and inviting so this is also same we are just preparing our houses to welcome this holy month and also these all are visual reminders as i said and these will keep you very excited throughout the month here i have hung my lanterns garland below those frames and on both the sides of the frames i am hanging my moon and star hangings now comes the main part here i'm clearing off the floor and i'll be laying this beautiful mat that i purchased from amazon for just around 5 or 600 rupees this is so beautiful i have especially chosen this moroccan pattern to go with the ramzan theme and all on this i'll place this white color stand here i have hung my diy ramzan calendar Now it's time to decorate this bedside table. I have laid a white color mat on this. On this table goes my bed lamp and then my multicolor LED crystal lamp. I'll put all the links in the description. You can check. And here I'll place this beautiful sand painting. This is from a brand Dale site. I'll put the link in the description. This is so soothing and relaxing. The speciality of this is this moving sand creates a new picture with each turn. 
isn't it looking very pretty and aesthetic and also very relaxing stress bursting at the same time so if you want to purchase this one i'll put the link in the description box you can get additional 10 percent discount also if you use my code i'll mention all the links of crystal lamp and the sand painting in the description box and also coupon codes you can check here i'm hanging my moon and starlights i had purchased this last year for ramzan makeover and here i'm attaching all my diys Now coming to this stand here I'll place my DIY flowers which I made long back and then goes my countdown board. Here I'm keeping my DIY candle holder which I made with glass and glass colors. In this corner I'll keep my peace lilies. Here I'm keeping the holy book. And here goes some tasbih prayer beads. And here I'll spread the prayer mat on this mat. And keeping some tasbihs on this mat as well. After all the final touches, it's time to see the final look. Hope you all will like it. This is how it looks without lights. Let me know your thoughts on this in the comment section. Now let me quickly take you through this one. So on this window, I have this green curtains and on which I have hung these moon and star lights. And next to the window, I have my DIY Ramzan calendar. Coming to the wall behind the bed here I have these three beautiful frames which I had already shown in my previous makeover video and below those frames I have uh, hung my lanterns garland and next to that goes my moon and star hangings on both the sides of the frames. On this headboard I have kept this multicolor lamp and this is the bed. I have completely dedicated this room for especially prayers in this Ramzan month and next to that we have this bedside table on which we have multiple lamps and beautiful show pieces and here goes my DIYs on the wall. These are really inspiring and my favorite verses. Just try this in your home and let me know how it is looking and how you feel. And next to that we have our beautiful wall decorated with all the Ramzan Karim banners and stars and lights. These stars are also from Amazon, I'll put the link. And on this stand I have kept some decoratives, a lantern, flowers and DIY Ramzan countdown board and the holy book. I made these flowers with a Pringles box long back. And down there I have kept the prayer beads and a small artificial plant and next to that I have my real plant that is peace lilies plant. So that's the overall look of this corner guys. Let me show you quickly the whole room. Many people asked me to make a video on a namaz corner so finally this is that namaz corner. Though I have very less space in my house I try to make a dedicated space for prayer especially. Uh, I know some people might think that we are allowed to pray anywhere but why do we need a special place for this one because it will help you strengthen your concentration and also focus more on the prayer. It will create a nice spiritual environment free from all the noises and disturbances which you don't get when you are praying in your hall or in your dining area. So that's why it's very beneficial to have a dedicated corner for prayers. So I have posted this video in advance as it might help you to decorate your homes for Ramzan and also make a separate prayer corner in your houses. See my room is very small but still I tried and managed to keep a separate space for prayer. You can also do it. Just try it in your home and let me know your thoughts uh, on this video in the comment section. I hope you liked this video. If you have really liked it, I request you to press the like button and in case you are new to my channel, 
do consider subscribing to my channel as I'll be coming up with very realistic and affordable home decor home makeover videos every week. And again, don't forget to put your thoughts in the comment section which DIY you liked the most and what is your favorite part in this decoration and in this video today. And that's all for today friends. Let's meet in the next video. Until then, bye-bye and take care.